Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Postman tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn about the Postman Interceptor. So let's begin. The Postman Interceptor is used to debug your application. It's also help you to get the knowledge from your web application. So how this Postman Interceptor actually works. So basically, whatever the actions you perform on your web application, it will actually capture it by the Postman. And then whatever the actions you need to perform and how you want to use it, it's up to you, okay? As per your requirement so in order to use the interceptor first what you need to do is that you need to install a postman interceptor chrome extension so on the chrome uh, you need to search for this okay and just go to chrome.google.com here and you need to install so this is already installed in my browser so i don't need to install it again so for if you are the new one and if you don't have it then in this particular case you need to install this extension okay so once you have this, this extension with you you can just click here and see about this interceptor so basically what it will do it will capture the request and the cookies from the browser so that you can use that in the postman currently it's saying that it is not connected right what we need we need to install an interceptor bridge from the Postman app, okay? And we, do, we need to turn on the capturing request from there. So now let's open the Postman, okay? And from here in the Postman, uh, we will configure these settings, okay? So I have already installed this bridge, so you won't see the button to install here, but in case you haven't installed that already, you will see that to install the bridge button. We need to navigate through that similar satellite icon from the top and we will see how it works. So let's open this postman here. So now uh, just go here on the satellite icon. Just click on this and here you see two options. We already covered how to use this proxy. Now we will see this interceptor. Okay, just click on this one and here Already I have installed this bridge, so that's why it's got connected successfully, else you will find a bridge button. You need to install a bridge here, okay? So once you have installed, it says connected, just go to the browser, and again, it says connected, okay? Now, both are connected. Now click on this capture request, okay? And here, you need to define where you need to save this request, okay? Furthermore, uh, you can define what's, what you need to include and what kind of the methods you, you want to capture. For example, if you want the only post method calls, okay? So here you need to define the post here, okay? So that's how basically this works. Now let's go to the browser and let's search for Postman and we'll see after some actions, it will actually start capturing the request. Now click on learn more and just scroll a bit here and click learn more about the client interfaces. Okay. I'm just performing some actions. So whatever the calls being sent from this application through the browser will be captured by the postman. Okay. So this is the whole concept of using the interceptor here. Okay. Now just open the browser here and you see so what kind of actions you perform here, it will capture. And now you see, it captures only the post calls. Okay, because we define the post calls only. Okay, so, so this is how you can use the interceptor. Furthermore, if you click on this, any of the requests you want, you will see all the headers, parameters, body parameters, whatever being used by that particular call will be captured here. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. We hope that you have learned something today. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel, share it with your people so that most of the people can get learned from it. So thank you so much once again. See you in the next lecture.